Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we're going to be looking at the pretty fast low pass, the sort of this small filter tucked away. I believe you even have to know about it and to turn it on to even know that it's there and why you're probably going to want to use this at some points in your sound design. So let's go ahead and dive right in. It's something I grab all the time and I get asked about it from time to time. So we're, we'll start with just a really basic example, or in fact, this will just be the example because it's really straightforward. So let's just say I've got a, a low note here. So here's a low note in, you know, low note sawtooth waveform. Let's say that I'm gonna automate a low pass. We're talking about low pass here, so let's use a low pass. So here's a low pass. Let's say I wanna automate this. So I go ahead, I put a clip down, I zoom in here, and let's just say that I've got this repeating shape like so and this is what i wanted to do you know this nice like thin tooth kind of thing but you might notice that you know this doesn't sound if, if this is what you're used to hearing you might think well this is how it's supposed to be but if you look at this shape it's supposed to instantaneously go up to the top we'd expect sort of a, a click here or something because because that's instantaneous it's not really supposed to be possible but since we're dealing with digital it's possible so for this here, we're kind of like, it, this This sounds like it's kind of being filtered out because we hear a little wah. It's not like a da 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 And so this is where some filters do a better job at this than others. And it comes down to just the filter that you pick and the way that the filter was done. So here, example, we're using the crude low pass. So, you know, that that's its sound. Let's go for another low pass. We'll go for the classic low pass. Get a different sound notice uh, let's just go back and forth between those crude versus classic so now let's say that we want to move away from the filter inside and say let's grab an external filter or in fact let's get paired against the volume knob so here it is just normal let's uh let's put a volume automation down so let's grab this volume control right here we're going to automate it and we are going to have it come down like so and do something like this. A lot more precise. But we get that sharpness out. But now, you know, that's kind of like, that's just, that's what it would sound like if you did it with volume. Let's go ahead and now move over to doing it with the Fruity Fast to Low Pass. Because I often like to do this. And it, it should be noted that this the filters sound extremely different. And so... I often like to mix, mix and match my filters and I'll layer in a pretty fast low pass uh, to clean it up somewhat. And it does have its own sound sound to it that is kind of a bit thin in terms of filters. Oh, by the way, you probably might not have it in this area anyways. I'm using the plugin picker. You right click to open this. Uh, you might have to go to the drop down and then go to my, more plugins. Then uh, look for the fast. And make sure you've got that start. So pretty fast, low pass. It's native. It's kind of an older plugin. And here it is, all set up. Let's go ahead and create an automation clip with this one. And okay, so we're gonna go ahead and automate this, and we're gonna do something similar to what we have above. And let's remove that and move this over. So with this movement, you get that super precise clicking sound which is so useful when you're doing stuff like side trance and you want that low bass sound to just be pumping along with the filter creating that rhythmic groove this is gonna be a, a nice way to get something like that you can be a lot more precise if you want little like double tap kind of things going on something like this Get that now let's try and do something like that up here right so we're gonna go ahead something like that it just cannot do that kind of detail it's totally washed out but if we mix them now Now up here, let's uh, let's delete this because this this is just kind of muddy. And 
and you can move the filters together but we can use this to create a a tightness layer i guess is what i would call it uh, a way of getting things to sit more precisely the way you want if you're looking to get that really tight rhythm a lot of the times this is without the fruity fast low pass i'm happy i'm not doing something that requires a super fine level of precision here but when i do want to do something like this this is one of the methods I use to accomplish it because it is extremely responsive and I can draw very, very precise shapes and get exactly what I want. So that's a little bit about the Fruity Fast Low Pass. It's how you get it on your list if perhaps it wasn't before. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day.